Hey designer Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you 5 awesome resources that are going to improve your design workflow. So let's get started. Alright, so the first resource for today's video is going to be uispace.net and I'm going to leave the links to all of the websites which I'm going to mention in today's video down in the description below. Make sure to open up the description and click on those links to access all of these websites in a click. So as I said, UI space and you can see all of these uh, categories up here. So Photoshop, fonts, icons, Illustrator, Sketch and Scripts, thousands of great freebies. So let's, I don't know, browse all the way down and let's choose Sketch for this particular purpose because we can open up the Sketch file in XD. We have all of these cool icons. So let's click on these icons. You can see downloads so of Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. You can share them and you can see relatable files right here. So basically you can download it from here and all of these are free for personal and commercial use, which is important to know. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see 2022. So it's updated regularly and it's made by this guy. So you can explore it once again, UI space. I will leave the link in the description below. Next up we have fuel.com forward slash flux and I'm going to leave the link in the description uh, below. And this is used, you can see right here, so SVG generator for fluid blurred gradient backgrounds, which are these things obviously. So we have color right here, so you can click on the color pickle and let's choose, I don't know, this color right here and you can see how it looks like, how it updates. Let's click on this one so you can see how complex uh, these gradients are. It's not just color to color. So angle, you can set the different angle. You can oversaturate, regular saturation, blend mode, so you can change this. So color burn, hard light. And I don't really like how this website does this. Obviously you have this right here, which is great, but it's a bit too small when you scroll all the way down. So you cannot just uh, see it, especially if you are on a smaller screen, like a laptop or something like that. But nevertheless, website is cool. So let's use color dodge because that's what it was. Complex, simple linear radial so you can change all of these things and overall opacity so you can reduce the opacity frequency blur so let's increase the blur a little bit blur y-axis looks good and you can see some samples right here about this website and all the way down so more SVG generators tools and resources you can check these out as well but since we are here you can click randomize to get a completely different look if you like this one you can save it and you can copy SVG to share with your developers if you want to. When it comes to saving all you have to do is click save and as you can see it's going to save it as an SVG which is fantastic obviously because not only is it small you can adjust these colors later and you can share it with developers and they can extract the code from that particular SVG image to use in your projects. Next up we have getwaves.io and you can see it says make some waves and these are just awesome waves that you can make for your backgrounds on your website or your app. So let's use this one for example and let's adjust it to be a little bit more boxy. You can use this one or you can use this one depending on how you want your waves to look like. Obviously you can click on the color, you can paste your hex code in here. So let's use 3EC6FF for a nice blue color and you can adjust however you want. So you can get more of these values or less values. However you want this to look like, you can also randomize to get the different look. And when you're ready, you can simply click right here. You can download the SVG or copy the code. Once again, you can share the code with your developers or you can download SVG if you want to use this directly in your projects, for example, in Adobe XD in my case. Next up we have askplaybook.com and this is great because it helps designers to achieve their career goals. So it's not just uh, enough to watch these videos on YouTube or watch courses or read. You always uh, have a sense that you're going to do better if you are as a part of a community, if you have some external advice from more experienced designer. So for example, on this website, it's not that massive, but it gets you going, for example, get your first design job, grow as a design manager, build a design system, be a successful freelancer. So if you are a freelancer, for example, you can click right there and you can see get client work. So you get all of these advices from people who already went to this journey. So they're giving you their advice. And what you can do right here is you can join, it's free to join and you can 
browse basically what other people are saying you can comment yourself you can ask questions and basically connect with these more experienced designers and ask them questions so for example use social media to get more freelance work so which social media how to use it how to approach people how to uh, post your work online how to message other people do you reach out first do they reach out first uh, how to structure for example your messages uh, do you send messages once per client or two three times per client so all of these questions are answered on this website and if they are not maybe you can ask your own questions once you start browsing once you start working and once you see what other people are posting so for example use linkedin to sell solutions not yourself i landed a 40,000 job plus contract through linkedin this way so not just smaller projects like upwork but bigger projects like this one as well and finally, last resource for this video is isometriclove.com, cute isometric objects for your design. So you can scroll right here and see all collections, voxel, smooth and animated. So you can click on any one of these and you can download them for free. But caveat is you can download it for free, for free use for non-commercial projects. So if you're working for yourself as part of a portfolio, for example, portfolio showcase piece. But if you're putting this in your portfolio, make sure to uh, label it as a personal project that way you are free to use it or you can simply explore and practice with these files to understand how to position them and how to work with them but if you want you can uh, get this image for a cup of coffee and get all images on the site for 99 dollars and if i go back to the main page what you can see is if i switch this you can see all of these different um categories and if I switch to animated and click one of these animated so you can uh, download it as a gif which is great and you can once again buy it for five dollars or you can get all images on the site for 99 dollars you can click on this self render for these static uh, images so let's say this one and let's click self render but you cannot self render uh, if you are uh, on the free plan you have to purchase the full plan in order to do so but you can adjust the colors and download it that way so isometriclove.com check it out if you're interested so that's it for this video i really hope you found some of these resources useful if you have make sure to check out resources down in the description below click on the links to access all of these websites which i show you if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this channel i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd design passive income techniques resources just like these ones so if you're interested in more content like that make sure to subscribe and until next time take care